G'day, so gel battery part two for my ZX9R. Um, now, as you do, you have a look on the internet and um, yeah, just do some discovering to see if there's anybody had this sort of problem before. And what I've found out is the term of these is a bit disconcerting. So they're called gel batteries, everybody knows them as gel batteries, but um, they can be filled with all sorts of things. Glass, I saw, whether that's true, I don't know. But apparently, um, these are very similar to UPS units, um, and we use those at work. And I know they can just, for no uncertain reason, just go bad. But apparently, they have got water inside them. And apparently, that water can, over time, disperse and evaporate. So, I'm going to try and crack it open, because uh, I've got a new one on the way anyway. So I'm going to try and crack it open and, um, yeah, see if it's low on water, and see if I top it up a bit, whether that will make uh, a difference. Stay with me, could be interesting. So, I've managed to prise most of it open where it says, um, can you see that? Let me get out, let me get that light. It says, uh, yeah, do not open. Yeah, whatever. So, this seems to be uh, oops, good camera work, Reeves. So, this seems to be coming off, and underneath it, there are some little bungs and under those little bungs you can only assume that's where the cells are now hmm I expect it's different to be honest with these batteries but yeah it seems oh that one a bit of pressure behind it it seems that the technology hasn't changed an awful lot and yeah looking in there can't see much fluid so I'm going to disconnect the battery charger because it would be stupid to do it with that attached and I'm going to stick some water in there um, this bit that says do not open as well let's have a look under that Ooh, actually <laughs> it looks like there's two sides to this Oh, don't you love experimenting? Do not open. Okay, I won't. Promise. Do not open. Yeah. Do not open. We are not opening. Honest. Warranty's out of date anyway. Yeah, that battery is what I would call bone dry. Okay, let's get some water and see what happens. Okay, so we are topped up with some lovely distilled water and everything put back on again um, and you're joining me for the first test so I'm going to use my trusty old uh, lamp that we used earlier just stick that in there stick that in there and <laughs> what do you know look at that <laughs> you introduce water back in and um, it's back to life wow <laughs> My um, flab is gasted. I um, I didn't think that would work personally, but yeah, um, just going to stick the charger back on it. Um, the charger. Let's put it on the fast charge. Oh, um, so it says it's fully charged. Interesting, right? Okay, I'll take that off for there then. Let's put the meter back on it again. Um, so we were getting 12.7 before, I believe we are now getting 13.1 and nearly 13.2. I think YouTube, um, that was a quick and easy fix. Um, I'm not sure I trust the battery, to be honest. Probably no reason why I shouldn't trust it, but um, yeah. Um, <laughs> I am truly, truly um, amazed that that actually worked. Right, I think that's going to need gluing back on again. Um, right, I'm going to stick it on the bike and see what joy we get. Um, join me in a second. God. Okay, YouTube. So, um, you're joining me live. Um, so the battery's back on. Um, all the connections are on. These extra wires here are for the charging points because... Once the seat's on, you have to take the seat off every time to trickle charge it. So I put actually an RC connector on there. 
which works really well and then goes into my trickle charger over there um, so we did get a bleep from the alarm I'm gonna now oh that don't sound good I'll be honest <laughs> I'll be honest that does not sound good and I'm gonna switch it on and yeah um, it's better I wasn't getting any lights before but um, yeah um, we're not we're not getting much so it's okay it, it did come back to a certain degree um, and we did get a little click there from pressing the starter button so it's definitely improved because I got lights now didn't have those before and it it is trying to click in the starter motor but um, yeah I wouldn't say it's fixed yet so I'm going to leave it for a while I'm going to leave it on the trickle charger what it was on uh, which was keeping it alive quite nicely um, maybe do that overnight and try it again tomorrow um, so I haven't given up yet <laughs> but the battery still may be knackered um, if it's been dry for some time then yeah it probably is but oh well I've got one on the way so it doesn't matter either way right let's um, stick on trickle charge and um, we'll probably resume this tomorrow so good morning YouTube um right a little bit of seepage from the battery um it is the next morning obviously um looks like the charger's doing its business I wonder what I wonder what happened oh now that sounded nice and loud and it sounded like or looked like the indicators worked okay I wonder if this battery's come back to life this would be incredible right we've got we've got lights there let's stick the choke on moment of truth oh my god <laughs> um, well that was unexpected oh my god that was completely and utterly unexpected. So, <laughs> oh, switch it off for now. It's a bit. <coughs> don't want to die. Um, so yeah, if you've got a gel battery and and you're getting 12 volts, but as, as I showed, no ampage. Um, yeah, top it up with distilled water. Charge it overnight. Jobs are good, and I am absolutely speechless. Um, makes you want to. It makes me want to cancel the battery now to be honest wow incredible um right i'm gonna wheel it outside because i don't want to run it in here too long and um and give it a warm-up yeah my god um i am i am truly speechless really i thought that battery's completely gone completely dead but um it's come back to life beep beep incredible right um Carry on regardless, YouTube. <laughs> Catch you later. She's alive. <laughs>